back in this evening on the river unit in an area that we scouted this summer, haven't hunted it yet this year, or run trail cameras in here. But uh, this summer around the outskirts of this place, out on the bean field, we saw a giant buck that we were calling Walt at the time. So I know there's big deer in here for the simple fact that this spot is just about impossible to get to. It took Sean and I a good two hours to get here from the car. It's only about a mile from where we parked, but we had to kayak in halfway here and the water was down so low that we couldn't paddle. But the mud was too deep to really walk. So we had to drag the kayaks with all of our gear in a couple hundred yards until we hit the, the next deeper hole of water. And we paddled a little bit further and once we reached that spot, we ended up hiking up through this creek bottom behind us about another half mile or so to get to where we're at. When we scouted this summer, I found a bunch of good spots back here to the east of me. I was wanting to hunt tonight, but we're far enough in as it is. I just, if we go any further to the east, we won't get out of here until tomorrow morning. So we stopped right here. There's actually quite a bit of deer sign behind us. The deer look like that they're bedding in this little uh, ditch behind us with all these willows. And I know they're bedding up on this hillside to my left because I scouted it earlier this year with Sean and Zach. Got the stand set up and we got a fresh grape right here at the base of it and another one up in the woods heading up into that bedding area. Perfect wind right now. On top of that, there's a dozen red oaks in here that are dropping acorns. We found a bunch of caps on the ground where the deer had been eating them. So, pretty good little location so a pile of deer sign on the way in we might have went too far but I guess uh, time will tell haven't hunted here before so hard to say what we'll see but hopefully something big Well, it's 8.30, finally back up here at the truck, covered in burrs, soaking wet. All we saw was a little two or three roll buck, but uh, a lot of deer sign back there. And that spot is just about impossible to access from uh, the public side. People could come in off the private back in there, but haven't seen any sign or evidence of it both times we've been in there this year, either scouting or hunting tonight. Pretty cool little location. There's two spots way back in there that I think will be really, really good during the rut. But we wanted to come in tonight and just check our access and see how well we could get in and out of there. It took us about an hour and 15 minutes to get back to the Jeep up here since we put our feet on the ground underneath the stand. So it's kind of a pain in the butt. You gotta portage your kayaks a couple of different times up through that little creek to get back there. The water just ain't high enough, but then after you get past that little stretch where it's, where it's uh, really low, you know, only an inch deep, then it goes around a bend where it's six, seven foot deep. So you gotta have the kayaks to even get back in there. Once you get back there though, it's not that bad getting, getting into that stand, but we're gonna come in here again, since we got a bunch of easterly winds in the next week, this spot sets up well for those um, we're going to come back here in the next few days at some point during early November and uh, try an all-day sit. We found a couple of really good stand locations back there that sort of linked together um, three different bedding areas where there was a bunch of old rut sign from uh, pr previous years. And I know there's some good bucks in the area from seeing them this summer. So we'll be back in here in the next uh, four or five days and try to make the trek in there and get a shot of mature buck. <laughs> 